I have five other siblings, so I grew up with them, and so I was always surrounded by people all the time. All my siblings are my best friends. I didn't grow up with my dad, though. My dad kind of left, and I haven't really talked to him since. I wasn't part of the cliques and stuff, so I did have a t hard time like finding my group of people, and I only found that through basketball. I've always wanted to go to college. My parents didn't go to college, and then my sister went to college for a semester. She came back home and did online stuff. Out of all my siblings, not common sense. They all beat me on that one, but like book-wise, I'm definitely the smartest. And so college was just, I have to do it. And I wanted to get out of the house, and I wanted to be a good role model for my little sister and little brother, especially my little brother, because he's my full brother, and we both have the same dad, so he left both of us. We stick together, and I want to be a good role model for him because he doesn't have the same kind of role model. I was doing it on my own because my sister couldn't help me, and my parents couldn't help me. I was doing this by myself. It was really challenging. When I found out I got into ACEs, like, I just, I bawled my eyes out because teaching is what I want to do. We do community service hours, 10 hours every semester. We do like outreaches with the elementary schools or other schools and we do uh, professional development. To get into this community and get like better opportunities and stuff like that, it helped me a lot because I was, at the time I was like, everything's going wrong. And then from there, just everything started going right. I feel like myself at school because like high school, I grew up with all those people, but like I was able to create who I wanted to be up here instead of being who they all created me out to be. I just want to get my education and go with it and see where it takes me and stuff, especially since like my parents don't have degrees. I don't know, it means a ton to me. Like, It's probably the number one thing I want in my life right now. A lot of people check up on me all the time because I'm the middle child, and so there's, like, there's a lot of weight on my shoulders to make sure I get to where I need to be, and it's really stressful sometimes. I had like a mental breakdown the other day just because I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. With ACEs, there's like people that come to you and are like, hey, like, are you doing this? Are you doing this? I had a meeting with one of them the other day and I seriously had, I didn't have my grad plan out. I didn't have anything. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what classes to take. I don't know what major I want to do because there's so much that I want to do. I was doubting myself more than anything because special education's a really, that's really difficult. Like, it's a huge commitment and it's a huge dedication of time. They knocked me into, into reality and were like, it's okay. Like, you don't have to know what you want to do, but don't doubt your abilities. So I feel pretty sold on special education now. A lot stems from my dad because he's missed a lot on my life. And so I really try to do good so he can see that he's missing out on like a daughter, like he's missing out on a great daughter. I just want to do what I'm supposed to do for the rest of my life. And so my degree means a lot to me and getting this education means a ton to me too.